All right, we are just gonna do a real quick intro to the worksheet, pale, pale, heavy forward but not backward. I think we did this one earlier in the school year. You may remember what that funny riddle is. It doesn't mean it's not good practice for equation solving. Again, we're just kind of reviewing and reviewing and reviewing here. Equation solving is so important for algebra. I'm just gonna do a couple here. I know you guys are gonna hate this because of the fractions. Like, don't freak out. Fractions are just part of math. And, and the good news is this, looking down here at the answers, I mean, you're not gonna get any fractional answers. So everything should kind of work out beautifully as we go through this. I am gonna write mine over here, um, just because I'm trying to keep my only copy of this worksheet blank, working from home right now. I copied it over here. If you're a tiny writer, you should be able to fit this in here. Us bigger writers, we may need to work on a separate sheet of paper. And if you don't have a printer, you can absolutely just write it on a blank piece of paper, still get the same answer, still find the riddle. Um, when I look at this, I'm getting very, very excited here. We just saw some notes about combining like terms. We have two variable terms here that we can combine, 5 thirds minus 4 thirds of the x's. So we get 1 third x minus one equals eight. That's that beautiful AX plus B equals C format. We know we wanna add and subtract across the equal sign here. So we're gonna add one. It's that inverse operation giving us zero. One third X equals nine. Now I'm very, very excited because in my class, we love it when we have a fractional coefficient because we get to put our finger up. We get to stare at it as we wiggle it and very smartly while standing. Ah, no, we don't ever do that. Very smartly look at it and go, we are going to multiply by the reciprocal of the coefficient. The coefficient is one third. The inverse operation here, since this is multiplication, is going to be division. Well, one third divided by one third, any number divided by itself will be one. We do remember, though, that the reason that works is one third multiplying by the reciprocal, three thirds is one. That's going to help us over here on this side. So we're going to multiply by three holes and multiply by three holes. Gives us that beautiful coefficient of one X. Nine holes times three holes is 27. I can check it if I want to. One third times 27 holes minus one should equal eight. This is going to be nine. Nine minus one is eight. It checks out. That is my answer. I would find that answer down at the bottom. Answer is 27. You guys always find it faster than me. Here it is. And you would let, write the letter U. Down here at the bottom, um, these two angles equal 90 degrees. So you would set this plus this equal to 90. Interior angles of a triangle all equal 180. Interior equal, angles of all quadrilaterals equal 360. They give you the information you need there. And you can use process of elimination to help you. Let's look at one problem on the back. What is heavy forward but not backwards? Love, 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 love the combining like terms. Let's find a juicy one. Um, I particularly love seven, nine, 15. Why? Why do I love those so much? And again, this is my only copy. I'm gonna keep it nice and clean, but you can see here, this is where we would choose to add the opposite because we are gonna be distributing a negative factor. Um, I'm going to do one with a negative being distributed here where I'm not going to add the opposite because it's already out here. Well, maybe I'll do 11 and 7. I'll do 7 and 11. 7 and 11, even better. So I'm going to do number 7, which is 4a minus 2 times the quantity a plus 9 close quantity equals 6. Here I must add the opposite or the second term will be wrong. I have to add the opposite to distribute a negative term. 4a plus negative 2a plus negative 2 times 9 is negative 18 equals 6. Here I can combine like terms. I have two constants giving me 2a, not two constants, two variable terms, my apologies, plus negative 18 equals 6. That's that ax plus b equals c format. We're gonna add and subtract first. Now I could subtract by negative 18, but my brain, because this is a negative, I'm just gonna add positive 18 here. It really is still the inverse operation. It's, what it's accomplishing is I wanna zero this baby out. Equals 24, dividing by the coefficient. Remember to show your work. A equals 12. 
you would find 12 up at the top and color it in. And I said that I would do number 11. That'll be the last one I do here. Three times the quantity, three. Well, why did I choose this one? Minus y, close quantity plus one equals 31. So here I'm gonna distribute. I'm not really gonna add the opposite here because I don't have to. This is a positive factor that I'm distributing. Here I added the opposite to distribute a negative factor. Here I can add the opposite, but I really don't have to. Um, and that's gonna be personal preference in this one. Remember this guy here, right here didn't buy a ticket to Oprah, did not get the distributed factor not inside the parentheses. So looking at this, I am gonna add the opposite because I'm gonna employ the commutative property here and combine those two constants, subtracting 10 from both sides. Dividing by the coefficient, negative seven. You go up to the top and color in negative seven. That is heavy forward and joy, very, 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 very funny.